Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and I am here with r slash Tumblr again today. If you like the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Today, we're going to go tumbling down into a, a mess and having a lot of fun. Because I like to do that for some reason. Let's get into it. Bloop. <laughs> Someday, I want to see a post that does the no filler episode of Sting Ing from the opposite direction. Just a whole season worth of low six character pieces that seem to move the overall story absolutely nowhere. Then episode 26 pulls, uh, pulls all the triggers at once, and this massive Rube Goldberg machine of a plot that a show's been quietly setting up in the background the whole time. Hits you like a truck. Oh my goodness. Chekhov's firing squad. <laughs> People making typos in group chats and getting welled on it is extremely funny. Unless I am the one making the typo. In which case, you guys are not funny and being very immature. Me telling my story how I survived a plane crash and lived on, on a deserted island for a year. It was crazy. Friend who once got a text from me where I accidentally called the Grinch the Grink. Was the Grink there? God freaking damn it. Hmm. Rhythm game player. How are you today? Someone. Good! Rhythm game player. <sighs> oh my goodness. I mean, I've played like Musash a few times. It's really fun. I'm not that obsessed with it though. I think there should be levels up to the death penalty. Okay, Pukachu is kind of cheating, but let's keep on going. Like, if you kill one guy, then you just get lethal injection or whatever. But if you kill 30 guys, which is pretty bad, you get shot out of a cannon while uh, a silly e e circuit is music plays in the background. Or we could just not kill people. I mean, Supermax prisons exist for a reason. Finding big clown cannons exist for a reason, too. I freaking love Pikachu. Anyway, yeah, Pikachu's right. He's got uh, it figured out. <laughs> Roofs looks unbelievably stupid typed out. Why can we not say roofs? Clown language with clown plurals. If the plural of roof or roofs, the singular of grooves would have to be groof. Is that what you want? Point tank it. I'll do anything to avoid groof. This pose makes me miss being a linguistic student and because 60% of class time would be discussions like this. A regular groove. Playing a dragon's warm skelly snap uh, would fix me forever. I'm so, so serious. Or a sea serpent's cold, wet, slimy snout. I'm not that picky. I imagined that a sea serpent was about to offer, and then and, and, and saw all oh, this person made this post, and now they're sad made this second one. I mean, I know it's not real, but I like to imagine and things that I can't happen in reality. You can't stop me. Hmm. Children outside screaming. 
Annoying, but ultimately for the greater good. Children need going outside and screaming time for proper emotional development. An auditory burden I am willing to bear. Neighbor with this car you made it louder on purpose. Jail for neighbor! Jail for 10,000 years! Agreed. Children need to scream. I think that's what it seems like anyway. Least favorite ranking thing is uh, villain's original fun personality evaporates the moment that and 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 like they're redeemed, simply dismissed as a thought fa a thought all along. Their so-called true self beneath the mask is actually really quite dull. Oh man, you look like this bad guy for their a hammy vocal performance, sparkling confidence, and boisterous charm. That's great because we killed them off screen and I replaced them with the. With a solid doppelganger who exists solely to mope at the camera and feel terrible about things. If I said who this puzzle was written about, they, they'd know it to the cross like Jesus of Nazareth. I get the feeling this is about Joker. Seriously. Seems like he's, he's having the time of his life and sometimes he just goes completely serious. Lame as heck. I will honestly never forgive y'all for going crazy over Kylo Ren. Like you literally had and Poe, Owen, Finn, and you chose Kylo. That's like saying you would uh, freak Jar Jar Binks over Anakin or Obi. Rift to your taste in men, but I am different. I mean, honestly. Oh no, we're all doomed by the narrative. Maybe you are. I'm the narrative's favorite. Update. Turns out this is not a good thing for me. Yeah, enjoy your plot armor. Now you're immortal. And forces suffer. Because you can't and have plot armor and not suffer in some way. You will have emotional or suffering. You will suffer. You just won't die. Which, which in turn... Of suffering, it's probably worse that you can't and die. Anyway, post a kind of blackboard or discussion and board, and replying to two of your fellow students has to be one of the nine circles of hell. Great point, Dylan. I especially agree with it being one of the nine circles of hell. Well said. I hate it. Our boomer trade is going to be that we cannot recognize deep fakes or AI. I'm calling it. We're going to be like, wow, did you see this? And our grandkids are going to look at the 12 second hologram we showed them and try to be like, blinks are too regular. I'm going to be treating out some kid for being rude to a customer service employee on a call and they'll be like, they weren't breathing. Why are you always wearing that ugly Coca-Cola sweatshirt? You have so many nice clothes. That's just what our teacher is called to Coke and Coca-Cola um, And now we can and Shadow O'Pront their AI into giving us better grades. But your math teacher seems so weird and incompetent. I was sure she was human. Oh my goodness, that's going to be fun. <laughs> every day I get my heart ripped out, and every day I simply just continue. Wow, the eagle is terrible at fighting your liver. <laughs> yeah, Prometheus. So that's what actor actors who are obsessed with their own characters, like not a weird method acting way or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is my character, and this is a novel length backstory wrote for them in my head. And here's the stuff I behind the line I improvised, and here's what I think they did. After the ending, and whether or not they th like olives on their pizza. My blurbo for my job. I'm reading this video manuscript so far, and this dude has managed to spell chickens in the following ways: chickens, chickens, 
Check-ins, 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 check-ins. I will keep you updated if I find any more variations. Has no one in this family ever hit the held a check I love that. Alright, gonna have to open this in a new tab. But given that they're smoking brisket, who is a friend, I'm already upset. This spot reserved for good old boys that know how to smoke a brisket. I would act like that's supposed to be a private person, but private buttons don't go up to the neck. This spot re reserved for milfs with humongous is hentai great titties. What? Okay. This spot reserved for milfs with humongous hentai great titties that know how to smoke a brisket. Stop smoking brisket. She is a friend. No one that says Eska is not a girl. I will slap. I love that 70, 17th century Jewish poltergeist story. They were the family living in the haunted house as cause Catholic priests for help before they contact a rabbi because yeah, I think that would be my call too. I'd be like, oh, they're in my house speaking Latin and drawing divert crosses on my wall and so Eric Bile, then without questioning my faith, I'd call up the Catholic Church and be like, yo, oh father, one of your boys is 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 loose. Come get him. Look here, her pal. I know religion, and this ain't it. Whatever this guy I is, they're clearly from um, your version of things. By coming over to help fix things up. Not my I covered it, not my malefactor. There's no one going to tell me a crappy car mods that's daily deactivated. This is the worst freaking day of my life. Some people tell me it's still there. I know it was it was just a bot to post some Reddit. I know. I do not want to go on Reddit. I can get that. This place kind of sucks. Sorry, Reddit. Do you think you'd actually notice if someone didn't cast a shadow, or if their limbs were just slightly too long? Or if they had a little too many teeth? Like how it's times you pass someone on the, on the street and you didn't notice. Stay woke, monster frickers. Your love is out there. You know what, not my point at all in any way whatsoever, but I'm glad I could be an inspiration. What the f- Oh, we're not looking at spoilers. Sorry, I'm not going to spoil you. <sighs> my computer just made a horrifying crunching noise. Did you mean my computer just made a terrifying crunching noise? Yeah, fine. Whatever synonym makes you happiest. Who the heck cares? This is what happens when I have no assignments over the weekend. The pink tabs are for murder, purple for human or animal sacrifice, blue for rope, yellow for slavery, and green for misogyny. Let's just... Wow. That's a lot of yellow and pink. And look, there's even a whole lot of green there. And there's some um, blue. I think that's some purple mixed in with the pink. Oh, that's fun. Well, I guess human or animal sacrifice is kind of a murder when it's a human sacrifice. I wish I could scoop out all the words and stories inside my head with a bar knife and spread it onto a document and that was it. Fan fiction bread. <sighs> Is there anything funnier than someone who has a Tumblr account? I didn't seem like they're above fandom. Everyone here cares too much about fanfic and stripping. Why don't you move to LinkedIn then? This cardboard Mr. Krabs was found by its lonesome in, in the dumpster at my school, and I cry myself every time I think about, about it. 
SpongeBob my boy. I am a metaphor for the loss of childhood innocence and the onset of of adulthood. <laughs> Double try have a public locked by account just to generate a, a drama. So no follower accounts, although just how many people have your or but blocked. That would be a pretty fun uh, un feature. Tumblr do it before or 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 if or you can Elon Musk tries it. Neil game it. It sounds like an an order being being given. There is is novel American Gods written by prolific a, a, a author on your knees. Really? Right I in front of my resident an author on Tumblr. <laughs> Is it a straight pride parade, just traffic? No one is allowed to not see this. Agree, you are not allowed to not see this. That's what straight pride is, that's all it will ever be. Until you are oppressed for hundreds of years by a, a religious cult that wants you dead for existing, you do not get a pride parade. Frick you. Anyway. <sighs> the key to writing is very simple. It's lengthy pause as I scroll through the story, its websites and then start looking at fairy circles on Wikipedia, then playing an elation that settle down to watch Utchwal out glancing in a Tumblr. Oh. I'm going to be real. I do think we need to spend more time as a society encouraging adults to play for ten in those structured ways. Because I'm getting from a variety of sources is we all like to make make, make crap and pretend and to be people we are not. No, for real. Adults would be a lot healthier if their need for play was more easily satisfied. Play is a fundamental human need that does not go away when we exit childhood. But it's true that's childish and frivolous. No, oh fricker. That's how we process our experiences and knowledge and practice emotions of all kinds in a safe space. Learn how to play again. What bugs me about it is every other animal on earth engages in play behaviors all the time for their entire lives. Yet for humans, for some reason, it isn't considered normal once you certain age. Come on, bro. Crows are rolling down people's windshields and sheep are jumping on trampolines. Go have fun too. Agreed. Go play. I don't care how old you are, go play. That's you watching this video. Play. Freaking do it. Now. <sighs> the Oofa Loopas are a Greek chorus. First of all, I hate this so much. Second of all, imagine if the two switch places. Faruka falls into the trash chute. Pray a thou no more, for no, for mortals have no escape from destined woe. Wisdom is the supreme power of, of happiness, and reverence towards the gods must be invaluate. Inviolate. Great words of prayer for men are ever punished with great blows. Oedipus stabs his eye out, his eyes out. Oompa Loompas, Oompa Loompa Doopity Doo, I've got another riddle for you. What do you get when you sleep with your mom? A curse on your kids for decades to come. What, this is hysterical, and two, think about the eons of culture that have led to the creation of this joke. I am humbled by this. You know what? That was fun. Comment down below more um, Oompa Loompa things turned into Greek I I I choruses and more Greek choruses turned into Oompa Loompa uh, uh, songs. <laughs> Not that wheel, Jesus! The steering wheel! <laughs> 
This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Jesus took your wheel. I took the wrong one. <sighs> the year is 2039. I'm in the middle of a 14 hour shift driving a cyber hands free a semi truck that needs a human monitor to keep it from blowing through red lights indiscriminately. Since the water is undrinkable, we're back to drinking beer instead. I'm drunk, and the AI hologram personified as a non-threatening human with a computer voice in the passenger seat keeps trying to seduce me. Because freaking the hologram is a fireball offense and the company is trying to downsize. This is a dystopian we're going in towards. This is cyberpunk. This is where we are headed. This is what uh, we have to look for or to what, uh, and I'm in my I, I 40s. This is the heck I hope to prevent when I finally become I'm old enough to be president. I won't be able to get president because I'm not a billionaire. Sorry. <laughs> That'd be fun though. Wait, what's L3 comments? Okay, I have to read this. This is funnier. L3 comments will be like, I liked it. It's like your fake, and my reply will be like, "Fantastic! Thank you." Here's my entire thought process about how I ended up with that that particular line. Also, an outline for another fake I have. I have a 50 resources I used to research 1980s politics. And nobody asked for that. At chill, I asked for that. Now, oh, oh, we 100% asked for that. Definitely asked for that. Also, here's the other three dozen lines from the fake that I liked, and the outline for the fake they inspired me to write. Plus, some um, extra character matter that at this point is only and and gentle and then tend then frick tend gently relate to your fic, but was definitely inspired by Ido's nineteen eighties politics resources. Is and yep. Samples in and through the door. I I took on five orcs. What do I get? Rewards! 86 gold, 94 experience. Orc phone number times five. Oh. You meant in a fight. Take five orcs at once. <laughs> <sighs> Be the garlic bread on someone's crappy date today. Do that while you're playing. Have fun. Unlike humans, potatoes are not afraid of being fried alive. What? What? Look, there's even a small potato being like, what the frick? <laughs> Local girl furious and horrible mistreatment with my partner. Beating me at a game of a chess. In an unwarranted manner, I explicitly asked him to play me at chess. Oh crap, this is going to be hard to read. Let's zoom in. Anyone who says just in it, friends, is a freaking a douche, okay? I mean, a douche is not a bad word. Screw you. My inner friends have wiped my tears. So it's... It, it, it's more uh, times than my real life friends. It's so gosh darn relevant. I could uh, uh, not re vlog it before going to sleep. I tell you guys that I would never tell my real life friends because they would just go, they just have to wise up or get a grip. Freaking real life friends. That's why I don't have any. Oh. That's unfortunate. Anyway. <sighs> I think it's almost time for me to go. That's unfortunate because I'm actually having fun. The classic finished mix of extreme dutifulness and we will make actual conversation after a silent interaction and travel a period of six weeks, thank you. Can be really funny sometimes. I told my coworker that I'd like to save the coffee grounds to replace generator and take the home for my mushrooms and worms. 
And she was like, okay. And they fully saved every single coffee grab, um, I'd filled filter for weeks and weeks. About five weeks into this whole thing, after I thank her for the coffee grabs and tell her my worms was to love them because they're breeding very enthusiastically, she finally asks, So your worms, do they have a purpose or are they just worms? Like, sure, I'll save you all these coffee grounds every single time I drink coffee three plus times a day, but God forbid I inquire about your specific worm habits before propriety allows it. You could be eating them for breakfast for all I know, but that's your business. <laughs> this post has been up for so long. I'm at a new workplace now, and here's a new one. Someone finally getting a close enough look at the homemade and the and nut butter I'd been and using to make sacks for days in a reused jar, still with the pencil label on it, realizing the, the contents were not as advertised and saying with poorly concealed relief, I, you weren't spreading pesto on bananas like she'd been quietly dying inside the whole time, but had grimly committed herself to never presuming to ask what the frick was going on. <laughs> I mentioned to a co-worker how my friend had bought me some goldfish and I was so excited to eat them and she lay for, under the misapprehension for days that I was consuming actual real fish mailed all the way from America before one day I brought some for lunch and she was like oh these are crackers <laughs> Congrats, this is so cursed and the best addition someone has made to this post. <laughs> this is beautiful. You have no idea. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever read. Just one more. Just one more. I'm addicted to these. Oh, that's so cute. that's so sweet. I'm not gonna even try to read that because that is in a language that doesn't even align to the correct side of the paper for me. Do you know why hugs are so beautiful? Because the right side of you does not have a heart, so it is empty. And when you hug, you have a heart on both sides. That was beautiful. Okay. This one. This one is a lap S1. Told my parents I miss archaeology, and my mom was like, was very sympathetically like, do you want to dig holes in the garden? I was like, yes, I want to dig holes in the garden. My wife, after reading to me, this to me out loud, It's your people! Do you want to break a clay pot for you to put back together? Me, burying my face into my, in my hands? Maybe? <laughs> These are both moods, but unfortunately I am primarily a bioarchaeologist. I, I specialize in digging up old and uh, how many biology gets tragically discriminated against by law enforcement? Only if you get caught. Very accurate. Only if you get caught. Just don't get caught, OP. Just don't get caught. Okay. Okay. This has been about half an hour. We need to stop. I am addicted. I, I think that is clear now. I am addicted to Tumblr or memes. These are too fun. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video. Please comment down below. And subscribe to the channel. And oh my goodness, please comment down below some um, other subreddits that you would like to see me I I go over. Anything. Kick me off of our of slash Tumblr quickly. I am going to get addicted to this stuff and I will not be able to recover.
Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye! And of course, tomorrow will be more r slash Tumblr because this is a scheduled post, just like all my videos are. And this will be coming up and, and for the next, like, three days before this video finally comes um, um, online. I'll be going on r slash Tumblr for half an hour every day. Loving it, but being way too addicted and needing to do something else before my content gets stale and dies. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!